The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? And it's live right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside the Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And the match begins. Could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Bruno Fernandes. It needs an accurate cross. Fernando Silva. And the block by Otamendi. Lo Celso. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this must be! And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final! Incredible celebrations! Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. And so the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Portugal here? There needs to be. Otavio. It's with Ruben Neves. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a promising move from Portugal. Decent position. Now the Silva. Take it away. Lo Celso. Di Maria now. Martinez. De Paul. 
Options in the middle. Can he make it count? Oh, good work by the keeper. Paredes. Rodrigo de Paul. And an astute piece of defending. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. Otavio. Back to Ronaldo. Can they square the game? And a significant block following that cross. De Paul is with Paredes. There to take it away. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Shot up. Well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! Great block. Oh, a nice looking pass. Bruno Fernandes. What a crucial intervention inside the box. Now, well, Molina. De Paul. Now, moving the ball impressively here. Must be. Well, let's just take another look at this. Messi drifts past his opponent with such ease, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Joao Cancelo on the offensive. And Bernardo Silva has it. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And now they get the ball rolling. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Ronaldo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Romero. Now with Messi, Martinez, Messi, moving it forward, using all his defensive acumen to cut it out, Bernardo Silva, the ball with Otavio, Fernandes, Bernardo Silva, on to Ronaldo, Cancelo on to Bruno Fernandes clears it away Di Maria Di Maria 
Now with Martinez. Paredes. Return to Martinez. Di Maria. On to Martinez. Is it going to be? And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Without reply, Cristiano Ronaldo back to Ronaldo, and Bernardo Silva has it. It's with Joao Cancelo, Bruno Fernandes. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Rodrigo de Paul. Lo Celso. The ball with Martinez. Lionel Messi. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Diogo Jota. Fernandes. Now with Neves. Can he take advantage? Rifled against the post, but back in play. And problem solved for now. De Paul. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. But it didn't end up being a significant advantage. And so a free kick here. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Just ten minutes to go. Ruben Neves back to Ronaldo just the challenge that was required breaking at pace Ronaldo and back with Bruno Fernandes Ronaldo Silva good work from Argentina to win it back Messi Giovanni Lo Celso Dybala out of play for an Argentina throw and the substitution will occur now to be replaced by number nine Andre Silva Rodriguez Here's Marcos Acuna. Martinez. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions!
They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.